Well, I do believe that was the last one. Hello everyone, I am IA Roadkill and we are playing Farming Simulator 19. We are homesteading Grizzly Mountain with hard economy and no loans. We are playing on the PlayStation 4 and this is episode 27. Uh, what once was very painful, aka trying to drive this New Holland, is now only slightly difficult. I may even start to enjoy it. Ooh, those go inside together a long way. All right, we're just going to park it in the property that we don't own. Shh, don't tell anybody. And we're going to move this one over. I think we're done playing with trees now for a little bit. Except we have to go sell them. Empty the trailer. So I moved my microphone around again. I think I like this setup a little bit better. Uh, it's still the same microphone as when I started. So that hasn't changed. It's just positioning where I had it and my chair has decided to start popping and cracking and making weird noises so if you hear that honest it's not me it's the chair okay um, I am playing with my feet up a little bit uh, I tend to get swollen feet if I play too long Always remember to get up every hour and go for a little walk. Get that blood flowing. That's your doctor tip from Dr. Roadkill. Alright, so we have a field. Well, not a field, but a grass area. I guess you could call it a grass field. Not a field formally, so to speak. Uh, stop fighting with myself. We have an area cleared out where we're going to make a field. Wrong way. There we go. Unhook. Uh, there we go. I always draw a blank on that. And we'll pull out just a little bit so it doesn't make the tractor flip. Still almost did. That was a short load, but hey, they all count. All right. So I tried scooting this bag. I don't know if I put that in the video or not. The bag of lime that was left over. Um, you can hook on to a bag with your front and rear center hook on your three-point linkage. But that's what it does. So it's kind of hard to steer. So, yeah. I tried hooking it on the back, but then all it did was raise the back up and I couldn't get traction. I fishtailed. Yeah, it was just funny, silly. Okay, ooh, there's a Humpty Hump here in the new field area, right there. But hey, we don't care about those. I do remember, hey Stick, you're going to get ground up. I do remember over here, 
that this raises up kind of sharply right here. But I don't think that'll be too bad. I think a tractor will still be able to handle that. We'll have to see. Oh yeah. This guy that turns on a dime... Now, do I have it? Nope, don't want it that low. I gotta be able to steer it. St oh, that's loud. Let's back up here a little bit. I gotta be able to steer it. There we go. Come on. That was a tough one. Alright, I'm going to see if I can't do it from... Whoa! Up here. That way I can see right off the bat if the stumps disappear. Well, almost. You can just kind of see through the bar there. That way I can scan the ground in front of me. Clear up here, I guess. I don't see anything else below. If there is, I'm sure you're yelling at me. Oop, got a little one there to the left of me. I'll hush up so I can put this on a time lapse. Did you know that it would do that? I noticed it had the three-point link on the back. Or what I thought was a three-point link. Well... I'm going to say we're clear. Clear enough. If we find something plowing, then we find something plowing. Oh, is that a stick right there? It's a different leaf. Oh, maybe it's just a weed. That white one right there. Yeah, I think it's just a weed. Yep. All right. We need to plow. Now, you know what? I wonder if this boy could pull a plow. No. That's what I wanted to do. There we go. Um... Oh, there was a stick right there. Now, is that teasing me or what? And there's another one I see. Where'd it go? Did it already disappear? No. There, I got it. And I saw this one right there. Ah, we would have found them when we were plowing. I wonder if this thing could pull a plow. Leave that there. 
What do we have for uh, horsepower on this? Where do I want to go? I'm in the wrong menu. It is 600 horsepower, but some of that is taken up. Well, would you look at that? Hiding right underneath the grinder. 600 horsepower, but it takes the 600 horsepower to run the grinder. If I'm not running the grinder, I should have some horsepower left over for running a plow. You gonna disappear? Oh, I started the wrong thing. There we go. Now, I'm not sure if I should run the landscape tool over it first. I'm thinking maybe I should. Oh, let's see, there's landscaping. All right, so we want to smooth this out. And it looks pretty smooth up here, but let's start over here. I want to get a straight line, because I'm a straight field kind of a guy. All right, so if we go straight back, yeah, kind of that corner of the road, we could do it right here. So I am going to... There, that's as big as it can get. Um, let's see, is it going to line up with the front or the top edge of those fields? Eh, I'm a little too far. But I guess I need to smooth a little bit farther anyway. All right. I don't remember. I think it's triangle. But I don't want to do anything nasty. So, I'm not painting. I'm sculpting. I want to smooth. Yes, it is triangle. There we go. And it's going to show me exactly where I've been because it's going to take away the grass. But, oh well. Also make it easier to find sticks. And I'm moving and stopping because you can see my money is going down there. It's slowly doing something. What it's doing I don't know, but it's doing something. So I just kind of stay in a spot for a second and then I keep moving. Now, my grass that's piled up there from a cutting is going to disappear when I go over it. Didn't know if you knew that or not. Wow, that was some big rough stuff that got taken out. I'm going to back up on that. Some hippity hoppity spikes in the dirt there. Terrain cannot be modified here. So something... Uh... Alright, so it won't let me do it there. But if I make it... Oh! So it's up here. See what I'm doing to zero in on it? I'm 
Now, it's not coming up anywhere in this little box. But there it is if I'm in a big box. So let's lower this. Won't let me lower it there. It says, no, you found me out. Yeah, it won't do anything there now. Alright, so... We will just dance around it a little bit. There it is. I can see it just barely sticking out. Right there. See it? All right. Uh, I didn't have to come back over here to do that. You just do that. He seems to be driving slower. Oh, it was dragging. He was driving slower. I hope this doesn't turn into a landscaping repair episode, but... It needs to be done. Hey, there's a tree trunk right there I missed. Let's see, I probably better come at it square. See if we can get out of here. Probably help if I raised up the front end, but oh well. All right, that worked pretty good, I think. Now we gotta come back over here because I was silly. All right, let's see here. Now I'm not gonna fill those holes. I'm just going to smooth and see what happens here. And it's filling them in, kind of. And it left a little bit of a depression there. Make it disappear a little more by coming over here. I guess I'm in uncharted territory now anyway. What is floating through the... Oh, it's a bird walking. <laughs> ah, that was funny. I thought we had a floating stick trying to run away from my landscaping. That was funny. 
All right, well, I'm going to be quiet so we can turn this into a time lapse. We'll talk to you when I'm done. Unless something, unless I find something fun.
Well, I kind of got carried away, didn't I? I was in a field-fixing mood, so I decided to go ahead and fix right over top of the canola that we had planted. Oh, well. But I did find some things, and I think we've got her smoothed out pretty good. We won't know until we plant. But I'm going to buy... I think I'm going to buy the little Great Plains. Haven't tried that one yet. I might not even have it loaded. And I'm plowing like it was close to the grass even though I got rid of some of the grass um, but if we want to have a worker work over the long end in other words not this direction but going this way might need a wider um, I don't know what you call it grass patch not grass field but normal ground unplowed we'll just have to see if a worker tries to skip from this field over into the grass field and if he does, I'll have to get rid of some of it. But I think we might want to try that. Have him work this direction. Because the fewer turns a worker does, the faster they get done. And if I'm going to do that, I could probably plow towards the road a little bit more. So I might do that as well. But I'm going to work off into the night and get this field ready. I will not plant it tonight for fear of weeds. I will plant it first thing in the morning and I will invite you along to use that new planter that I'm thinking about getting since I've already sold the Amazon I think I might be dizzy by the time I get done with this field that was my shoulder. Did you hear it? Oh my god, that was loud. I was going to end the video right there. Or right here, I should say. And then I decided, no, I'm going to go try a different plow. Guess what? That Trex can pull a plow and it does a very good job. Sorry for it being so dark, but... So this is the 10... Is it 10.8 or something like that? 10 meter plow. And the Trex has absolutely no problem pulling it. The only problem it has is on a corner, when I'm turning, it, it tries to fishtail if I leave the plow down. I have to make sure I pick it up and not plow corners. Uh, I don't know if I could plow a contour field 
uh, but it works very good on straight lines. Now I have it down right now and you might see it it like snaps, just quick turns. I don't think it did it right there. But yeah, I thought I would add this to the end of the video because somebody might want to see it. I started the recording after I was already using it, thinking, hey, this, this might be good to put in there. You never know. Always record. You can always delete it. All right, let's look for that fishtail snap. Right there, it overshot. But nothing you can't learn to control. And when you're done with a pass, like I'm gonna be done with this pass, and you need to turn to the right, it turns on a dime, so you can back it, turn it, do whatever you want with it real easy. So, um, I leased this plow, so I'm going to take it back, but if I need to plow this big field again because I do corn or I make a new field, I will definitely go back to this plow because I like it. Well, I would like to thank everyone who stayed to watch the entire video. If you found it enjoyable, I would appreciate it if you would hit that like button. If you'd like to see more, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And if you would like to leave a comment, you may do so below. With that said, I would like to wish everyone, including you, a very wonderful day. Goodbye for now.